I think there's two things. Uh, at the sort of the critical studies end of it, uh, movies have entered their classical phase now. They're no longer, strictly speaking, the center of popular culture. But they remain uh, the defining art form of the 20th century, uh, the media age, uh, industrial art. And that it's a reference point for, for everybody. I mean, that, that it is, it has the status by now for a lot of people that, that actually the novel did when I was in college. And the assumption was that you just wanted to know about what people were doing with the novel in the 1950s and 60s. And now you want to know what people do with film. And because it is the central cultural artistic mode uh, that, that we work with. And production is now something with the advent of digital technologies, particularly, um, people are making movies uh, from the time they're 10 or 12. Uh, it's, again, um, as writing uh, short stories or poetry would have been in the 60s, people still do that, of course, um, making movies is something that, that people get involved with as a mode of self-expression and self-exploration very, very early on. And they, even if they don't want to major in it, it's something that they're very familiar with, and the idea that anybody can pick up a camera and do something with it is a very exciting idea to people. I think that's the wave of the future. Um, the, the current sort of core departmental structure that we have here was formulated at the end of the 19th century. And the disciplines were formulated on the, the assumption that there were really sort of discrete bodies of knowledge that could be identified by subject matter and method. And there has been a, a change in the way we think about that. And we're starting to see more and more that these different kinds of programs connect with each other, that they have a lot to say to each other, and they have a lot of interaction. Uh, at, at the level both of, of the sort of whole curriculum and individual courses uh, as well. I mean, that is, uh, I mean, I teach a course at the a senior seminar level called Imagining History, and it has English majors, cinema majors, history majors, politics majors in it. And that mix really enlivens what goes on in that, because all of those different disciplines bring different perspectives to historical cinema. And so I, I think that, that there's a lot of interest in outreach. Uh, it's already happened. I mean, with things like neuroscience, um, uh, other uh, programs in the sciences have actually sort of led the way with this. Um, we recognize in the literature departments that, that people are not staying strictly with the old traditional notion of a national tradition, where the basic question you have to ask about a literature is, well, how British is it? Is it real British or just sort of British? Uh, I mean, those national boundaries didn't, didn't really constrain those writers, just like they don't constrain filmmakers. And so that's really the direction that you have to go with these things.